Last WWDC, Apple announced the new version of her OS for Mac, OS X El Capitan. It is still not available for all the peoples, but for developers, Apple released a beta, like every OS she has. So OS X El Capitan has some new nice features. It is not a huge change from Yosemite, the previous version, but it can do new things uh, that can do your work really easy on your Mac. So without too much talking, I'm Ray Fulstein in Roy Tech, and today I'm going to do a review about OS X El Capitan, what there is in it and what's new about it. Now in design, El Capitan design hasn't changed since previous version Yosemite, so in the eye you won't see any different. But there is some new features here in this version, like this. Let's start with opening your Mac. You never find your cursor, because it is so small. Not really a problem that I ever had, I just check my trackpad and after a second I'll find it. But for those of you who don't find it, if you will shake your finger on the trackpad, the cursor gets bigger, so it's easier to find it. So that's a nice feature. Now in mail, you also got some nice features to help you manage your mail. Like, if you want to mark an email as unread, you can swoop to the right. And if you want to delete it, you can swoop to the left. These are features that we have since iOS 8 to manage your mail. So it's nice to get it in the Mac now. Now in Safari, you've got something new that's called pin sites which mean that if you close Safari and reopen, the pin sites are still there, and if you will open something in pin sites, it will open in a new tab. Now you also got some new features in Safari that if you are running some tabs with some ta sites, and now you are in one site and suddenly you are hearing some music and you don't know from where it came from, actually it's happened to me all the time, so uh, I have this bottom here and if I will click it, it will show me from where it came from and how can I shut it down, so that's nice. Now another cool feature in OS XL Capitan is that you can work on two windows at the same time. It's called Split View. Actually we have this feature of Windows multitasking in some phones like the Samsung Galaxy Note series. So with Split View, you can work actually with two windows by long press on the green bottom in the top of the window. So this is actually my favorite feature in El Capitan because sometimes I like to watch uh, in a movie on YouTube and uh, in the same time to read something on the web. Now you also have Split View with iOS 9 on iPad Air and iPad Air 2. So this is a cool feature and I love it. So El Capitan, as you can see, it's not a major upgrade from Yosemite, but it has some new nice features. You also get more uh, easy search and more organized mission control. Now you also got improvements in the performance of the Mac. It's now uh, faster in a lot of ways, including the speed of opening an app. So that's nice they improved performance in the Mac. So that was El Capitan. Not a major release, but has nice features and it is faster. Of course, you should upgrade it when it will come out in the fall, but right now it is in a beta. So that was my review. If you liked it, please click on the subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. I was Ray Fulstein in Ray Tech, and I will see you in the next video.